looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry. I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. You may recall me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB-28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. Towards you, sir. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a BB's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware, becoming an actual child. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <clears throat> of course! One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me. Try and start again! <laughs> I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury.
us in here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BP experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the chiral network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Di Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. I don't know how long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name or his face. I thought you might, since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Right. Sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the chiral network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Keep it here while we send you out. 
If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the Cairo network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. Folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You will have to earn their trust bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Isn't that the active skeleton the roboticist built? It should be useful on mountain trails and bad roads. Sam? You read me? Um, Lagna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so... I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with bridges then? It's not about that. Never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. Thank you so much. Keep on keeping up. Weapons restrictions lifted.
construction complete.
There you are. Handled with care, I see. I suppose this isn't the first time, and it probably won't be the last. Can't do it all myself, can I? No one can. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal. Further information. appears to be in perfect condition.
There's something I've been meaning to ask. Would you help me join the UCA? If me being a part of it ensures more people get the medical attention they require, then it's well worth the hassle. Thank you for that. I might not be as young as I once was, but I've still got plenty to offer. Oh, by the way, I came across something I thought you might find useful. You're more than welcome to it. Your deliveries have saved lives. And, as you know, every life that's saved is one fewer BT to deal with. Which in the long run means even more lives are saved. Please, don't give up. No matter how difficult it may become, I implore you. Thanks, Sam. BB-28 appears to be on the road to recovery. Its affinity with the other side is growing stronger, as we hoped. The convulsions and spasms have ceased as well. I know it's tough out there without a BB, but you've got to keep on fighting the good fight. Just like the kid is. Just like BB-28 is. Sam, we've received an order from a new client. Check the terminal in Mountain Knot City for the details, and do it soon. Sounds like someone is in need of medicine. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information.